Title, Shadows of Innocence, The Resilient Struggle for Federal Standards. In the heart of a nation hailed for its dreams and opportunities, the innocence of youth was being shattered, revealing a dark underbelly of gender bias, racism, ageism, forced prison labor, homelessness, and child labor. Three wise souls, resurrected from the annals of history, could not turn a blind eye to the injustices that plagued the lives of the vulnerable. Jesus, Rev. Martin Luther King Jr., and Eugene Debs found themselves walking the streets of America once more, their hearts heavy with sorrow at the tragedies that unfolded before them. In a country that prided itself on freedom, three young lives had been snuffed out due to a lack of protections for underage workers. Duvin Thomas Perez, a 16-year-old boy who had migrated from Guatemala, was one of those lost souls. He toiled in the hazardous conditions of a poultry plant in Mississippi, where he met a tragic fate, becoming entangled in machinery that should never have been handled by a child. Michael Schulz, a Wisconsin teenager, faced a similar fate while working at a logging company, and Will Hampton, a Missouri high school sophomore, lost his life in a landfill accident. Their deaths were a harsh reminder of the exploitation faced by young workers across the nation. As they investigated further, Jesus, Rev. Martin Luther King Jr., and Eugene Debs discovered a chilling truth, the exploitation of young workers was rooted in a systematic web of greed and indifference. Corporations and agencies sought to profit from the vulnerable by circumventing laws meant to protect them. Immigrant children and those from marginalized communities bore the brunt of this injustice. The three wise souls joined forces with investigative journalist Nina Golgowski, determined to expose this dark reality. Their collective voices echo through the media, reaching the hearts of millions. Together, they expose the callousness of hiring companies, who prioritized profits over the safety of children. Jesus wept for the loss of innocent lives and the violation of God's children. Rev. Martin Luther King Jr. invoked the spirit of civil rights, reminding the nation that justice should know no bounds of age or ethnicity. Eugene Debs, with his passion for workers' rights, demanded that the exploitation of children be halted at once. Their call for justice resonated with the people, who took to the streets in protests and demonstrations. The nation was shaken to its core as the horrors of gender bias, racism, ageism, forced prison labor, homelessness, and child labor were laid bare. Despite the uphill battle, the three wise souls and their allies persevered. They lobbied lawmakers, urging them to strengthen child labor laws, ensuring that no child would be sacrificed at the altar of corporate greed. Their efforts bore fruit as several states reconsidered their stance on child labor protections. However, the struggle was far from over. In the shadows, a deeper injustice loomed, the lack of federal minimum standards for workers' compensation since 1972. This meant that injured workers faced disparities in compensation and rights from state to state, leaving them at the mercy of local regulations. Undeterred, the three wise souls and their newfound allies championed a new cause, the establishment of a federal workers' compensation commission to ensure fair and uniform standards for all injured workers across the nation. In the halls of power, they stood before liberal progressive leaders and leaders of faith, demanding action. They reminded these leaders that justice was not a commodity to be bartered away, it was the very essence of humanity. As they fought on multiple fronts, their unwavering determination prevailed. Laws were passed to strengthen child labor protections, holding corporations and agencies accountable for the safety of young workers. The shadows of innocence were lifted, and a new dawn of hope emerged. Yet, the fight for federal workers' compensation standards continued. The three wise souls and their allies refused to back down, rallying the nation behind them. They spoke of the urgent need to create a commission that would bridge the divide between states and guarantee fair and just compensation for every worker. Their message resonated with the people, sparking a movement that swept across the country. Workers from all walks of life, united in their struggle, marched in solidarity, demanding change. The legacy of Jesus, Rev. Martin Luther King Jr., and Eugene Debs grew stronger with each passing day. Their relentless fight for justice inspired future generations to stand up for their rights and demand a more equitable society. As the nation stood at a crossroads, the footsteps of these three wise souls echoed through time, guiding the way towards a brighter future. Their spirits were immortalized in the hearts of the people, driving the relentless pursuit of federal standards for workers' compensation and a more just and compassionate society for all.